Racism is one of the biggest and most divisive problems in our society, both in the past and in the present. However, what I'm going to tell you today will change the way you think about racism. The first thing we need to ask is, what is racism? Well, racism is the thinking that one's own race is superior to other races. Because of this belief, some people express prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism against someone of a different race. Racism is no doubt one of the oldest problems in our society. It has been deeply ingrained in our history that it is so difficult to erase. Every now and then, racism shows its ugly head and causes a lot of severe and bitter division among people and nations. But what does the Bible say about racism? What does God say about it? And most importantly, how should Christians respond to racism? Today, let us take a deep look at what racism is and how you should respond to it. Now, here's something you should know. Racism is an insult to the image of the Creator. We are all created by the same God, and therefore, we are all equal in His eyes. There is no race that is superior to others. In fact, we all came from the same parents, and the same God has made and designed us. In Genesis 1 verse 26 to 27, we read, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. The Bible clearly states the irrefutable fact that we all came from the same parents. In fact, there's no races, but there's only one race, the human race. We all ultimately came from the same ancestry. There's no master race as what Adolf Hitler would like us to believe. This is confirmed in Acts chapter 17 verse 26, where we read, And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings. You see, we are all brothers and sisters. The same, the same blood runs through our veins. No matter who you are, what color of your skin is, or whether your no nose is flat or pointed, we are all human beings and part of the human race. Romans 2 Verse 11 clearly tells us, For there is no partiality with God. Isn't it comforting that we serve the living God who doesn't play favoritism? He is our God who made it very clear that He doesn't favor anyone based on the race. He doesn't make any judgment based on people's appearance, um, ethnic or origin, or even their status in life. God is fair. And he's the God of justice. When he judges, he doesn't judge like us humans. Instead, we read in 1 Samuel 16 verse 7, For Yahweh does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but Yahweh looks at the heart. And because God shows no partiality, or is not a respecter of people, this should lead us to the next point. We must not show partiality as well. You know, racism is fueled by favoritism and partiality. If we only show love to those people of our own group, we are completely missing the point. Remember, Yahshua or Jesus Christ died for everyone's sin. He didn't simply die for his friends. He didn't simply die for the Jews or the Christians. He died for everyone. John 3 16 clearly tells us, which is a very popular passage anyway, and it tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loved the world. He doesn't only love the Israelites, he doesn't only love the Christians, but he loves all people in the world. James, or properly known as Jacob, warned us in James chapter 2, verse 8 to 9. 
If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, you do well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin, and you are convicted by the law as transgressors. As you can read, showing partiality is tantamount to committing a sin. Jacob is telling us that showing partiality is a great offense to God, that he considers it a sin. We must show love to everyone and not just the select few. Now here's the exciting and powerful, powerful part of this video. Everyone has the potential to become part of God's family. No one is shut down or shunned away simply because of their race and ethnic group. No matter what ethnic group or background you came from, all of us are designed to have a relationship with our Heavenly Father. This is confirmed in the encouraging passage found in Galatians 3 verse 26 to 29. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Joshua. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Joshua. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. The Bible tells us that once you are in Christ, it won't matter anymore whether you are a Jew or a Greek, whether you are white or black, brown or yellow. You are a new creation in God and your race won't matter anymore. He offers the same opportunity of salvation to anyone who seeks his name and will in their lives. That's the awesome truth that we all should remember. Now as Christians, we are called to follow the will of God in our lives. Part of that is not to show partiality and avoid racism in all its form. We need to make a point that we don't judge people based on their skin color or ethnic background. We must treat everyone equally, knowing that every human being is created in the image of God. Not only that, but we must always remember that we all have an equal opportunity to be part of God's family. Well, that's it for me. I hope you learned something new today. If you'd like to receive inspiring, insightful, and powerful videos in the future, click on the subscribe button to get notified. And finally, don't forget to grab my free ebook entitled The Seven Powerful Habits of Highly Effective Christians. You'll see the link below. I'm Joshua Infantado, Becoming Christians. See you next time.